Photometry is the science of the measurement of light, in terms of its perceived brightness to the human eye. It is distinct from radiometry, which is the science of measurement of radiant energy in terms of absolute power. In modern photometry, the radiant power at each wavelength is weighted by a luminosity function that models human brightness sensitivity. Typically, this weighting function is the photopic sensitivity function, although the scotopic function or other functions may also be applied in the same way. Photometry in the eye The human eye is not equally sensitive to all wavelengths of visible light. Photometry attempts to account for this by weighing the measured power at each wavelength with a factor that represents how sensitive the eye is at that wavelength. The standardized model of the eye's response to light is a function of wavelength as given by the luminosity function. The eye has different responses as a function of wavelength when it is adapted to light conditions and dark conditions. Photometry is typically based on the eye's photopic response and so photometric measurements may not accurately indicate the perceived brightness of sources in dim lighting conditions where colors are not discernible, such as under just moonlight or starlight. Photopic vision is characteristic of the eye's response at luminance levels over 3 candela per square meter. Scotopic vision occurs below 2 a 10 or 5 candelas per meter 2. Mesopic vision occurs between these limits and is not well characterized for spectral response. Photometric quantities, measurement of the effects of electromagnetic radiation became a field of study as early as the end of 18th century. Measurement techniques varied depending on the effects under study and gave rise to different nomenclature. The total heating effect of infrared radiation as measured by thermometers led to development of radiometric units in terms of total energy and power. Use of the human eye as a detector led to photometric units, weighted by the eye's response characteristic. Study of the chemical effects of ultraviolet radiation led to characterization by the total dose or actinometric units expressed in photons per second. Many different units of measure are used for photometric measurements. People sometimes ask why there need to be so many different units, or ask for conversions between units that can't be converted. We are familiar with the idea that the adjective heavy can refer to weight or density, which are fundamentally different things. Similarly, the adjective bright can refer to a light source which delivers a high luminous flux, or to a light source which concentrates the luminous flux it has into a very narrow beam, or to a light source that is seen against a dark background. Because of the ways in which light propagates through three-dimensional space a euro spreading out, becoming concentrated, reflecting off shiny or matte surfaces a euro, and because light consists of many different wavelengths, the number of fundamentally different kinds of light measurement that can be made is large, and so are the numbers of quantities and units that represent them. For example, offices are typically brightly illuminated by an array of many recessed fluorescent lights for a combined high luminous flux. A laser pointer has very low luminous flux but is blindingly bright in one direction. Equals photometric versus radiometric quantities equals, there are two parallel systems of quantities known as photometric and radiometric quantities. Every quantity in one system has an analogous quantity in the other system. Some examples of parallel quantities include, luminance and radiance, luminous flux and radiant flux, luminous intensity and radiant intensity. In photometric quantities every wavelength is weighted according to how sensitive the human eye is to it, while radiometric quantities use unweighted absolute power. For example, the eye responds much more strongly to green light than to red, so a green source will have greater luminous flux than a red source with the same radiant flux would. Radiant energy outside the visible spectrum does not contribute to photometric quantities at all. So for example a 1000 watt space heater may put out a great deal of radiant flux, but as a light source it puts out very few lumens. Equals watts versus lumens equals, watts are units of radiant flux while lumens are units of luminous flux. A comparison of the watt and the lumen illustrates the distinction between radiometric and photometric units. The watt is a unit of power. We are accustomed to thinking of light bulbs in terms of power in watts. This power is not a measure of the amount of light output, but rather indicates how much energy the bulb will use. 
because incandescent bulbs sold for general service all have fairly similar characteristics, power consumption provides a rough guide to the light output of incandescent bulbs. Watts can also be a direct measure of output. In a radiometric sense, an incandescent light bulb is about 80% efficient, 20% of the energy is lost. The remainder is emitted as radiation, mostly in the infrared. Thus, a 60-watt light bulb emits a total radiant flux of about 45 watts. Incandescent bulbs are, in fact, sometimes used as heat sources, but usually they are used for the purpose of providing light. As such, they are very inefficient, because most of the radiant energy they emit is invisible infrared. A compact fluorescent lamp can provide light comparable to a 60-watt incandescent while consuming as little as 15 watts of electricity. The lumen is the photometric unit of light output. Although most consumers still think of light in terms of power consumed by the bulb, in the U.S., it has been a trade requirement for several decades that light bulb packaging give the output in lumens. The package of a 60-watt incandescent bulb indicates that it provides about 900 lumens, as does the package of the 15-watt compact fluorescent. The lumen is defined as amount of light given into one steradian by a point source of one candela strength. While the candela, a base SI unit, is defined as the luminous intensity of a source of monochromatic radiation, a frequency 540 terahertz, and a radiant intensity of 1 683rd watts per steradian. Combining these definitions, we see that 1 683rd watt of 555 nanometer green light provides one lumen. The relation between watts and lumens is not just a simple scaling factor. We know this already because the 60-watt incandescent bulb and the 15-watt compact fluorescent can both provide 900 lumens. The definition tells us that 1 watt of pure green 555 nanometers light is worth 683 lumens. It does not say anything about other wavelengths. Because lumens are photometric units, their relationship to watts depends on the wavelength according to how visible the wavelength is. Infrared and ultraviolet radiation, for example, are invisible and do not count. One watt of infrared radiation is worth zero lumens. Within the visible spectrum, wavelengths of light are weighted according to a function called the photopic spectral luminous efficiency. According to this function, 700 nanometers red light is only about 0.4% as efficient as 555 nanometers green light. Thus, 1 watt of 700 nanometers red light is worth only 2.7 lumens. Because of the summation over the visual portion of the M spectrum that is part of this weighting, the unit of lumen is color blind, there is no way to tell what color a lumen will appear. This is equivalent to evaluating gross errors by number of bags, there is no information about the specific content, just a number that refers to the total weighted quantity. Photometric measurement techniques Photometric measurement is based on photodetectors, devices that produce an electric signal when exposed to light. Simple applications of this technology include switching luminaires on and off based on ambient light conditions, and light meters, used to measure the total amount of light incident on a point. More complex forms of photometric measurement are used frequently within the lighting industry. Spherical photometers can be used to measure the directional luminous flux produced by lamps and consist of a large diameter globe with a lamp mounted at its center. A photocell rotates about the lamp in three axes, measuring the output of the lamp from all sides. Lamps and lighting fixtures are tested using Ganio photometers and rotating mirror photometers, which keep the photocell stationary at a sufficient distance that the luminaire can be considered a point source. Rotating mirror photometers use a motorized system of mirrors to reflect light emanating from the luminaire in all directions to the distant photocell. Ganio photometers use a rotating two-axis table to change the orientation of the luminaire with respect to the photocell. In either case, luminous intensity is tabulated from this data and used in lighting design. Non-SI photometry units equals luminance equals footlambert millilambert, styled, equals illuminance equals, foot candle, PHOT. See also, list of light sources, photometria, photometry, radiometer, reflectivity, 
Spectrometer. Notes. Standards organizations recommend that photometric quantities be denoted with a suffix V to avoid confusion with radiometric or photon quantities. For example, USA standard letter symbols for illuminating engineering USAS Z7.1-1967, Y10.18-1967, ABC alternative symbols sometimes seen, W for luminous energy, P or F for luminous flux and I or K for luminous efficacy. ABCJ here is the symbol for the dimension of luminous intensity, not the symbol for the unit joules. Standards organizations recommend that radiometric quantities should be denoted with suffix E to avoid confusion with photometric or photon quantities. ABCDE alternative symbols sometimes seen, W or E for radiant energy, P or F for radiant flux, I for irradiance, W for radiant excitons. A, B, C, D, E, F, G spectral quantities given per unit frequency are denoted with suffix O one half a year are not to be confused with suffix V indicating a photometric quantity. A, B, C, D, E, F, G spectral quantities given per unit wavelength are denoted with suffix I. A, B directional quantities are denoted with suffix I copyright. References A, B, C, D, E, Michael Bass Handbook of Optics Volume 2, Devices, Measurements and Properties, 2nd ed., McGraw-Hill 1995, ISBN 978-0-07-047974-6 pages 24-40 through 24-47. External links, Photometry, Radiometry and Photometry FAQ Professor Jim Palmer's Radiometry FAQ page.